outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Getting the day going. This mug's cute, eh? This is actually Florence's mug. It's a slow morning because it's Saturday and we're slow moving on Saturdays, but these are I'm finishing. These are the other cards I picked up. Remember I said I needed to get more cards. I got to fill out about five more of these. And these are all the cards that I have to mail out today. <laughs> My Christmas cards. There's a lot of them. I'm going to use this for the first time. And I am so excited. I didn't even swatch it yet. Maybe I'll swatch. Oh, Oh, you know what? I'm just noticing some of the pans are bigger than the other. Look how big this pan is compared to this pan. And these ones are big, so the middle ones are all smaller. The only thing I don't like about Urban Decay shadows is that I don't like like I like if you use a big fluffy brush like this, then you you just end up making a mess because the pans are so little. I'm going to, I think, use beige. I use this color out of every palette. It's very chalky. Like, you can see it right there, but that doesn't bother me whatsoever. Because now I do my eyes before I do my face makeup, so I can make all the mess I want and I just wipe it away. <laughs> it is quite chalky, though. Uh, but it would be 19 for so I'm I'm okay. I don't know what kind of look I want to do. We're kind of we're just having a day with uh, the fam, right? We might look at some Christmas lights, which will be fun. I think I'm just gonna go super light and neutral and use the color Bucked, this one right here. Uh, anyway, my makeup brushes are so dirty like <laughs> and I, I literally just washed them but I guess that's that's what happens right I'm just clearing this off yes yeah, so I'm gonna go into color but yeah they're really powdery I have I feel like I haven't done makeup in a while I don't have my tripod down here bad view Someone's coming down the stairs. And I just went in with the color end game there. I was gonna give these brushes away that I got in my boxy charm, but then my friend Sherry mentioned that it was a really good brush. <laughs> I was like, well, I keep it <laughs> sold, but look at it. It's all it's like triangle. I don't know if you can tell. Where's my camera? I don't know if you can But Sorry. Okay. I you forget how good Urban Decay shadows are when you don't use them for a while. They are really they're they're kind of like the OG of shadows in my opinion. Like didn't we all start off with Urban Decay as our first like high-end makeup palette? Either that or like Smashbox. I feel like people Got Smashbox or Urban Decay, maybe Too Faced, but Urban Decay was my first high-end makeup palette, and I got rid of it. And I kind of really wish I kept it. I don't know. I I, I think it was Naked too. Was the f I never owned Naked actually, believe it or not. These shadows are really nice. They blend really nice. But oh, do you want to see it compared to the? sultry palette they are so similar it's ridiculous but I'm I don't mind owning both because so here's the sultry palette and then here is the reloaded palette very similar eh they're like this one doesn't have a black in it but they're very very similar I love Anastasia Shadows. I really, I think she's one of my favorite brands for sure. 
and that and i really like it cosmetics so i don't know this vlog might be a little bit weird today because we're doing stuff with a family member so i won't be vlogging and but i think we might be going out to see lights tonight so if we do i'll show you and they're absolutely incredible like it's worth i know sometimes that can be boring but they're worth seeing i vlogged it last year too so anyways what color should i go in with now i think i'll go in with like a glitter let's swatch a couple so this is the color dream weaver I am such a beauty guru. So I'll, I'll make it look, you know, okay. Probably won't use that one because I, I, I think I want, it's really chalky. Look how pretty this one is, Reputation. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, it's super, super soft. Look at that. It can keep going. That one's gorgeous. Um, and then this, I probably will use this one because I, I do the same look every day just with a different palette, basically. That's the color Angel Fire. This is really fun playing with makeup with you guys. Normally, I'm just talking to myself down here. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. Probably use that one. <laughs> this is the finished. I don't know if you can really see. I gotta get my eyebrows waxed. Does everyone want to say hello to Vlogmas? Hello. You're not in the videos much, but. You guys show me more. Everyone wants to see me. And me. They want to see me. All my friends are like, you need to be in the videos more. So I need to like. Anyways, this is a really rainy day. But. Well, anyways, I really, 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 really like that eyeshadow. Beauty guru. Looking at the Christmas lights was a bust because it's pouring rain out, so the windows are fogging. You can't see any of the lights. I don't normally wear these disposable masks, but that's all we had in Trevor's car. I don't like them. I hear people like them. Do you like them? They fall down too much. No, I don't find they fall down. I just find they're harder to breathe in. So we had to pick up something. We didn't get to see the lights. But it was a wonderful Saturday. I know you guys have seen this tree in my kitchen, but I thought I would explain it a little bit. This was a tree we actually used to use as our main tree in our living room. Uh, but we got a new tree, so we stuck it in the corner of the kitchen. And I absolutely love it i love having a tree in the kitchen i know that's random and weird but i love it but this tree is actually totally filled with home oh that one's not marked <laughs> but with homemade ornaments from the kids so there's like those like it's all ornaments from when they were little like look how she used to spell her name <laughs> Florence, like we added a few little odds and ends that we had left over, but these are all homemade. And it's really special. I don't know, I really like it. And I put ribbon on this, or not ribbon, beads on this tree. And I don't normally put beads on the tree anymore. So I think Alex stuck that guy there. But super, so one of the kids made that one too. It's super special. I love it so much. And this tree, I think it might be my favorite one, even though it's not the main one. I just love how like special it is. And it's funny thing is we didn't have a topper for it. So my sister just quickly made a bow and stuck it on the top. And I was like, I actually like it. And these ornaments here are so special to me. That Santa and that Mrs. Claus. My grandmother actually made them in ceramics way back in the day. She made them in 1995. She signed it mom. And uh, 
I got them when she passed away. I think my mom might have gotten them and my mom gave them to me. But she's actually who Florence is named after. Her name was Florence. And then I named my little girl Florence. But she was very, very special to me and a huge part of my life. I miss her so much. But I love having these as a way to like remember her by at Christmas. It's kind of like a part of her is here. She loved doing ceramics. And then there's this creepy bugger. My sister believes that everyone needs a creepy elf in their house. <laughs> so she has one. She gave my family one and she gave my brother and his family one. So now we all have these creepy elves and it's like a huge like inside joke that we have with these elves. Every time we go to one another's house, we hide them like it's a joke so you'll randomly see this guy like under your pillow or like on the side of your bed or like in your shower like it's like a huge thing that we do but like all of a sudden you'll like find this creepy elf all over your house <laughs> all of ours look a bit different mine needs a haircut and one of them is named cedric one of them is named mortimer and one of them is named cedric Cedric Mortimer. Oh, I forget the names. Anyways, I thought I would show him off this vlogmas. This is our second Christmas with him. I'm gonna try the tea. Holiday chai. Haven't had this one yet. So I'm gonna put it in there and let it steep. I'm sneaking away for a minute from the fam. Trevor made biscuits. He's quite the little baker. He has his specialties and biscuits is one of them. So this is the tea. Oh, that smells spicy. Sorry if the lighting's a bit wonky. I mean, I'm just using my happy light. My happy light is my little YouTube light as well. Uh, so I'm gonna try this really quick. Oh, it's super hot, wow. Oh, 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 <laughs> this one's really good. Oh my gosh. I definitely like more of the spicy holiday teas. This, that's really good. It's very like spicy, like it. It tastes like cinnamon. I've never had chai before, so maybe it tastes like chai, but that's really good. That one might be my favorite. That one might be better than the sugar plum spice. I love that. We had a good day. We spent some time with family. Um, postponed our Christmas light viewing until a nicer evening. I feel like I didn't vlog much today. Like on weekends, I spend all my time with my family, my kids, my husband and stuff. So I don't know, weekend vlogs might be a little bit different than throughout the week. Cause throughout the week, I just, you guys are my company, right? So, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so yummy. I got all of my Christmas cards mailed off. I still, I want to collect a few more addresses. There's some people I don't have addresses to that I was just like, I really would like to send them a card. So I didn't get to send them one yet, but I, I mailed out like 35 cards today. I think I'm going to wash my face, get my pajamas on. The kids are already out watching the Grinch, so I might join them. Um, That's about it. It was a really busy day. Unfortunately, you guys couldn't really see that, but... It was a really, really good day. And tomorrow, Sunday, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We go to mom's every Sunday, so we'll definitely be doing that like for supper and stuff. But I don't know, I really, really, next week, I really have to focus on wrapping. I have so much wrapping to do. I pick away at it, but I have so much wrapping to do. Like, it's ridiculous. Anyway, love the eyeshadow. It's holding up really well. It's hard to see in this light, but it's holding up. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I want to enjoy the rest of the evening with the fam. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for 
Vlogmas. I'm losing track of the days. Seven? <laughs> Vlogmas day seven, I think, is tomorrow. Whatever day it is, I'll be here.